Okay, what we're going to talk about is seam repair, and this is only applying to our uh, suits, which is the Hollis BTR 500 and the DX 300 that's in the market today. It's a regeneration seam that we apply to the suit. This is a double needle fold over stitch, as you can see, and then we use a hot melt tape on this particular one, the BTR 500, as um, a seaming device. So if we've discovered that we have a slight hole or a slight leaking on the seam for whatever reason and there's no way you can get the suit back to the factory for at least a month or you've got a project on or you're out in a remote location and it's not convenient to have the, the, the seam repaired, you can actually do it yourself but we do strongly recommend that the seam needs to be regenerated properly back in the factory. But to get you out of the, uh, the problem you've got, you can actually regenerate your own seen as a temporary repair so you've identified the area where the leak is so let's just make out that we're going to put a leak in this area here and it's the, the stitches either punch of the tape or there's a dirt under the tape but there's a leak in this area here so we need to replace this piece here and here so we can actually regenerate that so what we need to do is balance out the actual material and we're going to focus on this piece and that piece only. We have a third pair of scissors so we can actually cut the tape. Again, you can actually regenerate it with a hot air paint machine, i.e. a blower. Or you can do it with a, an iron. But an iron you need to be more careful with because you can actually scorch the liner. So preferably try and get a, a hot gun paint stripper. It's got more control. So gently start off by heating the area that you want to take out. And you'll see that the tape will actually start to lift. And again, I emphasize be very, very careful because if we go too hot, we can actually blister what it does take quite a lot of force, but you can actually catch it up now and blister it. So by the tape being a third fascia, it actually does protect the boot tile quite a lot. So as you can see, it's starting to curl. That's enough. Lift the edge. Again, a bit more heat. Pull that back, cut that away. As you can see, I've also damaged the patch, so I can actually push that back and seal that back down. And now I've got two bare edges here, so I just need to roller them in to make sure they got good adhesion. So as you can see, the leak was here. So if we uh, take that tape, we know it's in the middle of there. What we need to do now is go and get another piece of tape and size it, it's called a hot melt tape, to the area you want to cover. Don't be frightened of over exaggerating it. Layer that down. Roller. And that's allowed me to recover the seam. What you can do is overlap it a bit more onto that. I've, I've not done it. I purposely wanted to show you that you can actually butt it tight. But I normally go a quarter to half an inch over either end because it will adhere to itself. But it's, I'm trying to demonstrate to you that you can get right between the seam and butt edge it if you want to. And as you can see after a couple of seconds that's really dry and I can't pull it apart. So now I've got, I've got a good seam. Again once you've done that do another test on the suit. Make sure you've covered the area. Again that patch is starting to curl so let's give that a bit of a blow.
Now that should get you out of trouble and allow you to carry on with your expedition or your diving for the next month or whatever period of time in order to get back to our to our factory. What we will do then is we'll take that seam tape completely off through that full run of seam and then we'll retape the whole area as a complete run tape so you don't have no joints or any areas where it could possibly leak. So by doing it that way it comes back into the factory and it's put onto what they call the hot melt machine which gives it even pressure and even heat all the way through the seam so we can regenerate that seam for you but in an emergency and you're in a problem you can repair it yourself in field but be diligent and be very careful when overheating on the boot hole. And that's a simple repair for the Hollis BTR500 and the new DX300X.